Here are five Karens who took their entitlement too far and found themselves being arrested. Dubbed online as Soho Karen, this 23-year-old woman pleads guilty after being arrested for attacking a black teenager who she had accused of stealing her iPhone. You don't have to explain no, nothing to her. Take the case off, that's mine. You literally get it back. Are you kidding me? You feel like there's only one one iPhone made in the world? No, okay, then show me the show No, me my you get, get a life. Over yeah, there, no, what's on your last round? You better go use find, find My iPhone. Go yeah, do that. Find My iPhone is off. Okay, on that right right no, no, you can't. No. I'm the manager of the yes. hotel. I don't yes, care. He will, this is right my now. son. Hey, and Did I you see me? Help, no, but you're not helping. I what am. you've been is disrespectful. No, I'm trying to settle the no. situation. We, I'm, I'm my son to... has nothing to do with her. No. I'm trying to figure yeah, out what's going on. Yeah, we're putting him on my phone. Then show me the proof. No, he's not leaving. Show me the proof. Are you show me the proof. You better get on. Oh, let's go, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Get on. We have what you you see you see two black people. No, I'm not letting him walk away with my phone. No, please get my phone back. I can't. I cannot not have my phone. Listen, get your ass. Soho Karen has since pleaded guilty to unlawful imprisonment in the second degree as a hate crime and was sentenced to probation. She will be required for two years to abide by the terms of her California probation, stemming from a separate case, and to continue counseling. This Florida Karen completely lost her mind and decided to go full-on racist against the landscapers. All she can do is scream racial slurs like it's her day job, right there for the whole neighborhood to hear. Hey, man. Yes! You fuck! You good to go? You good to go? He likes work. Have a blessed day. Eventually, the cops showed up and arrested Karen, taking her to a medical facility for a mental evaluation. Check out this drunk Karen at the airport bar. Instead of calling it a day and snoozing on the plane, she decides to stay and be a party pooper, 
causing a ruckus and, guess what, getting herself arrested. I'll talk right here in front of other people. Yeah. I'm not going to talk alone with you though, man. You got too much heavy weights on, both of you. Yeah, no, don't come after me like that. Not with all your weaponry, man. Look at me. Yeah, no, I don't think you are, man, because I got just water in my hands and I have nothing to talk about. I got nothing to say to you, Mr. Desmond. It's Wong. Yeah. No. No, man. I've already, I've, I found my voice. You're not going to cage me, man. Cages have been broken. I'll sing. We can talk. Is it? It is. Yes, these men are scaring me, and I had to run. So look, look him in the eye and tell him that they're not here to scare me. Look at him in the eye because I know that I'm okay. I'm good. I just. Thank you. Would you like to walk with me? Because I'm not willing to walk alone. Will you tell them I'm right here? Let them come to me. I'm waiting for the flight. Yeah. can't leave us there. I can walk with you. Would that be okay? Yes. Thank you. How can you say no to her? Are you kidding me? Well, you're going to say no to I'm not, her? I'm not your best friend, but I'm here to help you, okay? Listen to the women. No. So, we were running up and down. Are you guys okay to see me arrested yeah. like this? Where are you right now you're me? detained, so please place your hands behind your back. Okay, Mr. Okay. Bacon and Mr. Dimmitt. Please place your hands behind your back. Sweetie, you gotta let go. I want everybody to know where they're taking me. This is the Hotel California, and they're never coming back. Just stand up, yeah. If you take me now, then I'm never coming back. You're, I'm never coming back. Everyone's just going to stand there and watch. That is what happened. I'm not. I'm not. They said I'm mad. And my children, my children love me. They're going to break my wedding ring and I've never been married. I've never been married. This is exactly what has been happening. That's exactly what has been happening. So who's the head honcho here? You tell me! Come on, kiss me! Kiss me! And tell me who's the head honcho here! What, I'm not hot enough for you? I'm not hot enough? I'm not sexy enough? I'm gonna spit on you! Tell me I'm f Tell me I'm f Tell me! Tell me! Tell me! Now control hold? Oh, animal control? Because I look like a mad woman and you're gonna break my bones? You're gonna break my bones, security? Security's gonna break my bones to give you Shut up! What are you doing to me? What are you doing to my dad? When they finally arrested her, this crazy Karen went wild demanding kisses from the officers. Like seriously? She even threw some wild kicks and spat on them. This tries to escape her madness, but eventually he manages to get away. And finally the cops showed up to let her know she was getting arrested for assault, but Karen couldn't care less. This Karen finds herself behind bars after throwing her hot soup into the face of an employee. Throw food in someone's face and you may be arrested. That's a lesson Amanda Nicole Martinez has just learned. On November 7th, Martinez complained to a restaurant in Temple, Texas, that her menudo soup was so hot it melted the top of the takeout container. Janelle Nellie Broland was the manager on duty who took the call. I, of course, offered her like refunds and was trying to get her either a replacement meal or just something completely different if she wasn't in the mood for soup anymore. And she just continued to yell. Martinez came back to the restaurant to continue her complaint, as seen on this surveillance video, pointing out the melted lid. She just still continued to yell, make a scene, um, and still, still cursing with you know families and other children in the restaurant. And that's when I said, you know, ma'am, you either need to calm down or leave, and or I'm going to be calling the police. And I said, ma'am, I can still help you get you something. I just ask that you don't yell and cuss at me. And that's the moment she threw it at me. Thankfully, the hot soup had cooled down, but Brolin says the experience was still painful. My eyes were stinging so bad, they were burning, and the spices were all like inside of the top part of my nose, and it caused me to have a nosebleed. 
31-year-old Amanda Martinez was arrested Wednesday, charged with a Class A misdemeanor, assault causing bodily injury, according to Bell County Sheriff's Department. Her bail was set at $5,000. If convicted, Martinez faces up to a year in jail and a fine of up to $4,000.